So continuing on the Cities of the Underworld theme, and you know, and like I've said, it does have relevance to what, you know, what the, is going on in the world now, because it's um, places from all over the world that for thousands of years we have been treating each other badly in, right? To quote once again the lovely, lovely Don Wildman, um, he said on, I don't know which, he said of some, some place in the world, I'm sorry I didn't write it down on the piece of paper, this was top secret back then, there's something out there that's top secret right now, right? This was Don Wildman. Now this is true, we can, we can guarantee that there are things that are built on our planet that we have absolutely no no idea about secret um, military installations that we have no clue over right the reason is because we have to protect what we have that's why we've needed military that's why we've needed police and whatever for all of these generations which we obviously would need but not for the reasons that we do now. Our, our species has just invaded, you know. Um, America had natural people there, natives, when when white man turned up and slaughtered them. Um, you know, Australia was taken over. White man wasn't meant to be there either. Africa, wherever we go, we steal things. Now, when you steal things, you need to you need your protection. Um, because the more you have, the more you need to protect it because you've got things above other people and you know that people are going to want it because it's not fair. Now, one wonderful thing that, um, that we're learning, um, one thing that I find really amazing that I've learned from Cities of the Underworld is that for thousands of years, mankind, right, has been able to build fantastically intricate water systems, right? For um, for the absolutely wealthy, obviously, and they do it for their own benefit, um, so that they can have clean water and whatever. Now, my boyfriend put um, a theory my way the other day, and he said, "Why don't we, right, just take a pipe?" from the wettest place in the world and run it underground to the driest place in the world, all right? And then you could branch it off at the end so it all goes to separate wells and, because if you built it higher up, it would it would filter down because they've done this for thousands of years, right? You could build a pipe from the water and have water, right? Running through wherever. This has been done for thousands of years, right? People have, if they've got a water problem or whatever, why can't we do that with the poor countries, right? Why haven't we done it with the two pounds a month that everybody's being, being given, right? Now, the reason it's not been done is because it's of no vested interest to the elite of this world to get it done. Clean water for Africa is possible. Now, we've been bred, we've been educated to believe um, that the people in Africa are different from us and that it's all political systems and whatever. And this is what we've got to change because it's not about one person per country who makes a decision, right? And even if, like, you know, it's like, well, no, there were quite a few of them. There were probably a couple of dozen. It's like representing millions. Have a word. You know, we do want the people in Africa to have water. That is why we give £2 a month, right, in such huge numbers, because we care. That's why Comic Relief... Um, and made more than ever, well actually the reason Comet Relief made more than ever this year is because they allowed you to text pledge £5 with your mobile phone, which was absolutely disgusting, but that's a whole different, um, different matter. Um, but the fact is, we don't want people to suffer on our planet. We, the way that our world is run is 
under a system of unfathomable numbers which are not meant to add up because all of the ultimate earthly resources and manpower the only two thing that money two, two things that money could physically represent ever right what's on the planet and the people on the planet to do things with the things on the planet right the numbers are designed so that only a few a handful of people get those resources and that manpower at their disposal and they are spending it on war and they could build a tunnel from somewhere wet to somewhere dry and solve the somewhere dry's problem of having no water we can put a, like the euro tunnel the french connection thing right um imagine right that's that's only gone like a few miles right but the amount of monetary um expense that goes into that per square inch right You've got, um, you know, you've obviously got the making of the tunnel, but you've got the train tracks, you've got the trains to be made, you've got people to upkeep it all, people to work on it. Um, you know, per square inch, that costs a bloody bomb, right? Just building a pipe, right? You could get, you could probably go it, you know, if you, if you added up the totals, you could probably go around the world three times with that kind of stuff. We have... You know, military installations are hoy. We have grandiose marble sculptures. And there are thousands of people on this planet who don't even have clean drinking water. That's the world you live in. That's what we are allowing to happen by not changing this. And what has to be changed is a complete reversal of thinking. I said polar shift last time, but I think it's polarity shift. But I might be wrong. Um... But basically, that's what we have to do. We have to change the way we behave with each other as human beings. It's not communism, you know, and it's not nasty. You know, it's not rebellion. It's not a complete breakdown of society and its values. What values do we have? You know, we can't go out and, and enjoy the world together because everywhere's being shut down. It, it serves no purpose to these people. These people get, with their earthly resources and manpower, what they want. Everything else is surplus to requirements. We, they, we mean nothing to them. This is what upsets me about the fact that we are educated to viciously defend these people, no matter what. And they do not care. If they get off this planet, they ain't taking anybody but who they have to to serve them. This is what, these are the people who decide what our children are educated in and what we owe and why. You know, we're all born naked and alone. There is no such thing as a silver spoon. It is lies to help them get away with it. But when you look at it, it is not logical common sense to be building ever more fantastic ways of killing each other when we're already dying of a lack of clean drinking water. It can be done. We could share this earth. We can't share this earth because it's not ours. It belongs to the people with a room full of gold who print up little paper slips and educators and entertainers. Mm, they're none. You know, because of why these, while these people have our world in their hands, we won't see change because they won't allow it. But they employ us. We're the military personnel, we're the policemen, we're the council workers, we're their bloody well everything. They just lock the door.